I just want to put a quick question to the room. To the room. Who here thought once Korra lost their all her bending abilities that the next season would literally be about her figuring out how to reattain them? Yep. My power-ups. Probably no one ever saw it. Oh yeah, you've never seen the most entire thing. Alright, back on the previous topic, I wanted to mention 
I mean, this is not the worst, but I think by far the best from what I've seen. I don't know many fan things, but this one drew me out because someone actually took time to come draw and color pictures and not like children, but like you use a computer and properly make art. Like you would see in the dealer's room. And it would be a story of um, a pregnant top and an older, uh, older Sokka going on an adventure. I didn't get to read any of it because I think it was a Pace site or something. No, not Pace site, it was on DeviantArt, but the, I don't know what the guy did with all the stories. I couldn't be bothered to read them, but the artwork was truly incredible. Unfortunately, I don't remember the artist, but I'm, I'm just curious if anyone else in the audience has actually read this. No? No. Okay, now my, uh, one Hush! 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 Bless you. Bless you. Sure. Bless you. Um, mine was, uh, the thing that I wanted to know was what happened between Toph and Sokka, because she had, like, a huge crush on Sokka. Yeah! Uh, Maybe uh, that's Lynn's father. Sokka ended up going out with, what's her face again? Suki, yeah. So I wanted to know if that, like, what happened and who the father, like, or who Toph's husband was. Yeah. The main, if that's the major question for me. You assume she didn't get married yet. She married herself. Another question was for, between Toph was, did Toph go back to her family? Or what happened afterwards? I guess you went back. I was wondering, what happened to the White Lotus? How did the White Lotus go from being the secret society of elite vendors to just like a bunch of French soldiers that worked for like, Katara or something? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see here. That is a good question. Let's see, they liberated Bossing Se, then Aang tasked them to protect and train Korra. Yeah. Um, yeah, you. Um, I have a question. Oh. Does anyone. Yeah, go ahead. Does anyone still wonder what happened to Zuko and Azula's mom? Yes. Yes. That was the Read the second book, she says. Do you remember the title? There's two minutes left on it. Yeah. Who here would want a continuation of We're going Avatar, to. the last Airbender, to figure out what happened to everybody, right? Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> Left on a cliffhanger. Uh, yeah, you. Creativity panel. Actually, you know what? I don't want to. Let's. Yeah, let's go to creativity panel. What time is in panel? Okay, uh, you in the back. Yeah. We'll Where the Congress Center? Get there. No. Is Congress Center over there? Guys, someone has a question. Yeah, it probably is. Not necessarily. These are relatively new techniques. Only 50 or 60, no, 60 or 70 years old. 70. Uh, it depends on how you want to count it. Um, but on the on that, uh, I was also mentioned to me that A could never do it. These are beyond mastery. You have to remember, mastery doesn't mean a complete understanding of everything possible. It means a complete understanding of the basics and where they can lead and how they can move together. So if you have your own technique and it works, and it works for you, it may not necessarily work for other people. Also, they were, they were, these people were highly dedicated to, these, to develop these. So it's not something just easily passed along. It's something years of training until there's a proper developed training method. But what about the With the lightning bending, if they, even the avatars, some of them can't pull that off. There's a whole factory of lightning bending, like lightning benders in Republic City, but it's 